Rwanda launches Tourism Week to boost COVID-19 recovery. Rwanda has launched a Tourism Week with new ideas of exhibition, leadership conference, and most importantly, sharing tourism experiences from other countries in Africa and beyond. Summer Walker and her new boon make it official with matching face tattoos of each other's names. Despite her new Heartbreak album still over it, Summer Walker is head over heels in love with her new boyfriend, Levard Farrell. Kanye West dominates the 2022 Grammy nominations in the Rap and Album of the Year categories, while her and Doja Cat are the most nominated female artists with Jasmine Sullivan, Lil Nas X, Silk Sonic and Saweti also snagging multiple nominations. Yes, so welcome back to the information part in the morning call section and let's start with the local story. So Rwanda launches Tourism Week to boost COVID-19 recovery. It's a great thing to be happy about. So Rwanda has launched a Tourism Week with new ideas of exhibition, a leadership conference and most importantly sharing tourism experiences from other countries in Africa and beyond. So Rwanda uh, Tourism Week exhibition will be a three day event from uh, November 24th that's when it started which was like like on uh, Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken, or Thursday, until 26th, which is today, 2021, to showcase uh, the tourism and hospitality actors. So this event has attracted over 100 uh, tourism and uh, hospita hospitality uh, operators with tourism initiatives from as far as South Africa to Ghana, Zimbabwe, Botswana, and also back to the region in Tanzania, Kenya, to perform uh, Kenya, and to the far north uh, in Somalia and Dubai. So the purpose of this week is to exhibit Rwanda's uh, products to attract market and uh, also to enhance sales, showcase different products and also services that Rwanda has to offer, uh, create a platform for communicating um, the local chamber of tourism's agenda pull potential uh, uh, stakeholders uh, and also investors into the sector and appreciate stakeholders. So the Rwanda Development Board, which is RDB, uh, Deputy Chief Executive Officer Zefani Nyonghuru uh, said that the event is in line with the COVID-19 pandemic recovery plans after an, uh, after an uh, unparalleled uh, blow uh, to the tourism sector in Rwanda, which cut international tourists arrival translate translating in losses in tourism recipients in his own words he says i quote it is vital to keep uh, the confidence and also morale in the sector uh, to rebuild and uh, bounce back better thus uh, this uh, thus the suggestion for the first edition of rwanda uh, tourism week new huru said tanzania's uh, minister of environment and tourism i uh, feel that nani kereng said that attending the week uh, the week as a country uh, they intend to uh, build uh, the region integration she said so we are here to invite private partners to cooperate with tanzania and also aim is uh, the aim is uh, to improve the collaboration with the sector since we have a lot to offer in packages and in areas to visit kereng said so uh, besides tanzania ex exhibitor exhibitors from south africa the blue tra uh, train and also agritourism africa and ghana tour agents agents like um uh, like uh, Dancy Travelers expressed interest in joining Rwanda to exchange tourism uh, packages and also open trip in Rwanda to explore some of the luxury uh, luxury and also untaped areas of tourism in the country. So, for instance, the, the Blue Train, which is from uh, Tanzania, which offers luxurious train travelers, could be of interest or profit to Rwanda as the country has pledged on its tourism model towards attracting high-end tourists who can spend between 1,500 US dollars to 3,000 uh, per night by establishing luxury five-star hotels, especially in the volcanic region and also gorilla habitants in Musan districts. And we have intentions of uh, coming to the region and Rwanda has been uh, of particular interest to expand our services, says uh, Moma Sonti uh, Ndlovu, the executive manager heritage and tourism at the Blue Train. That is uh, one way of uh, them thinking that they can actually help us in the tourism industry that we also are doing great in and we cannot wait to see the boosting what is going to actually be coming out of it since you know two years have been 
you know, have passed without tourism being done normally like it was being done. So we cannot wait to see what is actually going to happen after this. Definitely. These tourism conferences are very important because it's an opportunity for different countries, not only in Africa, but in the whole world to come together and share their tourism experiences and be able to um, share different sites that can be able to help people from different countries yeah. um, be attracted to that different site. And this will definitely help uh, the boosting of the economy and a recovery, uh, a quick recovery from the COVID-19 incidents. Exactly. Yes. So, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. Moving on uh, to the next story, we're going to be talking about how Summer Walker and her new boo uh, are making it official with matching tattoos of each other on, the, of, um, on their faces of each other's names. So, uh, despite her new Heartbreak album still over it, Summer Walker is head over heels in love with her new boyfriend, Levard Faro, and to show the world just how committed they are to each other, the pair just got some new, uh, fresh new ink courtesy of matching face tattoos, as you can see on your on your screens. So taking to Instagram, Summer Walker shared images of herself and her boo cuddled up tight with each other's names tatted on the side of their faces. So Summer Walker has clearly put the drama of her past relationship with London on the track. Her ex-boyfriend, producer, and the father of her daughter officially behind her and looking at her brand new tattoo she has no intention of turning back so she surprised her friends her fans recently when she posted a quick video montage of herself and her boyfriend Larry with matching tattoos with each other's names summer got Larry tatted on her on and Larry got summer tatted on so she captioned the post writing simply best friend so just last month a summer walker gushed about her new relationship on social media writing at the time so grateful uh, to have this man he just increases my overall quality quality of life i've never had someone put me on uh, put me and my child first before everything so to not uh, have uh, to lift a finger for someone to truly be emotionally and spiritually intelligent and invested in me, it's new and it's nice, she went on to say. So only time will tell to see what's next for these two and their fresh romance. So you know how people can speculate that just okay. because they got tattoos of their f names on their faces there forever that's not the case that's you never the know case. Mm -hmm. and um the sad thing is that tattoos don't really get off okay they do but i mean having that scar yeah. mm -hmm. or having that um, tattoo to remind you of the fact that you have a boo who might not forever be there mm -hmm. it's very complicated but um we wish them well and let's stay positive that she will actually um stay with this man that is on her face i mean they might be so strong because it's a tough decision to make exactly i mean taking or putting someone's name on your face is somewhere that you cannot even you know hide from yourself and not even hide from the public so you're going to be seeing it and the people are going to be seeing it either way whether you continue to be with each other or not and but the face is such a delicate supposed to put yeah. uh, unless uh, at least if it was somewhere else on her body part you can easily hide that mm. but your face you can never cloth your face you can never cover it up so it shows good. how much she's committed let's just yeah it, but yeah. love is just a crazy thing so you never know what love can make you do definitely yeah <laughs> so heading on to the next three grammys 2022 are here and are confirmed and the nominations or the nominees are already out so Kanye West dominates the 2022 Grammy nominations in the rap and also album of the year categories while her uh, and Doja Cat are the most nominated female artists with the Jasmine Sullivan, Lil Nas X, Silk Sonic and Saweli also sn snagging uh, multiple nominations. So the wait is finally over as the 2022 Grammy Award nominations were just announced and some of the music's biggest stars are one step closer to earning uh, the highest honor in music and Kanye West's highly anticipated Donda album dominated uh, uh, the rap categories and also uh, named the Cavett album over the year nomination as her Doja Cat, Lil Nas X, Jasmine, Silk Sonic and Saweli were also nominated in some of the most competitive categories. So the 2022 Grammy Awards won't air until early, uh, early next year but uh, the nominations are officially out and some of uh, your faves are sure to be very happy with the news as uh, we saw some different uh, people posting uh, I saw her from uh, her Instagram page she actually posted which shows how happy they are with the news so the rap uh, categories Kanye West Donda and three nominations while the project also earned a nomination uh, for album of the year and he nabbed the producer credit for Lil Nas X's industry baby 
Speaking of Lil Nas X, he has also earned multiple nominations in several of the big four categories, Record of the Year, Album of the Year, Song of the Year, and also Best New Artist. Those are the categories that, that Lil Nas X is under. So, however, it has uh, it was the ladies that held it down as her and also Doja Cat were the most nominated female artists as uh, at this year's Grammy Awards with eight nods each. Meanwhile, Jasmine, Silk, Sonic, and Sawedi also have a lot to celebrate among others that we actually have the list is so long but these are the few uh, members that you know whose names have been actually you know over and over you know on this list so we cannot wait for this uh, 2022 early early 2022 to see what is actually going to be happening. definitely i definitely hope her snags a grammy which yeah. won't be her first it's very crazy that um ever since she started her music career mm -hmm. she's been uh, dominating and the fact that she's part of the people who have the biggest uh, number of nominations is really great to hear so we can't wait to see how the grammys will turn out and those who will snug all those grammys exactly yes yeah, so last but not least we're going to be talking about priyanka chopra jonas uh we're talking about the jokes about the 10 year age gap with husband nick jonas in hilarious roast clip so um this uh, roast has been finally mm -hmm. out on netflix yeah i can't wait to watch it i haven't watched it yet but these roasts are always crazy but we have the video of uh, you know her exactly speaking in front another of, yeah. roast that took me out was when they were roasting uh, Justin Bieber. I think it was when he turned 20, 24, 22, 21 actually. Mm -hmm. It was a huge age for him and they were teasing him and stuff like that. So these roasts are always entertaining. So Priyanka Chopra put her comedy skills on display and joked about her age gap with Nick Jonas in Netflix Jonas Brothers Family Roast. So Priyanka Chopra showed off her comedy prowess in a Jonas Brothers Netflix special. The actress who is 39 joined several other celebrities for a roast of her husband Nick Jonas and his brothers and bandmates Joe and Kevin Jonas Brothers Family uh, Roast which is now available. So Priyanka did not hold back, even joking about the 10-year age gap between her and her 29-year-old husband, whom she wedded in 2018. So she went on to say, I'm honored and so thrilled, actually tickled to be here tonight to roast my husband, Nick Jonas, and his brothers. So um, you'll see more of the jokes in the small video. So she then joked about Nick's vanity, went on to say, seriously, I want to talk about how much I love my husband. And one of the things I love about my husband is how much we have in common. Priyanka said, you know, for instance, we're both totally, completely, wholly obsessed and I mean obsessed with Nick Jonas we love Nick Jonas he's our favorite so that's that's really funny I mean he, she's talking about how he himself is obsessed with himself so mm. it must be really funny to be yeah. in uh, that household it must have been very entertaining I can't wait to watch it mm -hmm. yeah so let's take a look at the short video we'll be right back hi everyone <laughs> I am honored and so thrilled actually and tickled to be here tonight to roast my husband, Nick Jonas, and his brothers whose names I can never remember. Um, <laughs> I'm from India, a country rich in culture, in music, in entertainment. So clearly the Jonas Brothers didn't make it over there. <laughs> Nick and I have a 10 year age gap. Yeah. Yes. We do. And there are many 90s pop culture references he doesn't understand, and I have to explain them to him. Which is fine, because we teach each other. We teach each other things. He showed me how to use TikTok, for example. You know, and I showed him what a successful acting career looks like. It's so funny it's and so sweet. Roast. Yeah. Yeah. And then they are a proof that a 10 year age gap can work out. And you don't have to be afraid. You don't have to feel threatened. It's just, just a number. It's just a number. 10 years, guys. 10 years. And they're a testament oh that God. these things. 29 can... and 39. Exactly. I told you. That's the same thing with Dwayne. 37 mm. and 47, if not 39 and 49. Yeah. That's the situation. It is what it is. Exactly. Mm. So uh, that was it for the stories. I hope you enjoyed what we had for you guys today. Do not go anywhere. We still have a lot more in store. This is still the Morning Cafe.